All right, well, some good news on the tropical front is that we still have just a depression. 19 is still just to the east of Miami, but something that I was pointing out at the top of the newscast, this is the center of the storm, and you definitely see that little circulation that is very apparent on radar. But you also see down south another little circulation. So if there are two distinct little spins here, it tells me that this is one, not rapidly intensifying, and two, is one of them going to possibly become the dominant circulation? wait and see. But right now, the one that is being highlighted by the National Hurricane Center is the official center. However, most of the strong storms are actually closer to this other little center, which is more to the south and east of Key Largo. So we'll wait and see what occurs as it now is going to be moving over land to tonight and into early tomorrow and what that land interaction could possibly do to the center of the storm. The center of the track, though, has not really changed all that much. Hurricane Center is saying it's going to move Move over the uh, peninsula of Florida and then emerge into the Gulf of Mexico sometime midday or afternoon tomorrow and then become a tropical storm. This would be Sally. And then as it continues moving generally in a northwesterly track, notice the forecast cone of uncertainty could mean a landfall somewhere in the Florida Panhandle, Southern Alabama, Mississippi, or it could be more south of this line and stay south of the Louisiana coast. At the moment, the only model saying that is the GFS with all of the others either right along this line or even a little bit more east, which would be good for us. Not that we wish this on anyone. We just have to look out for southeast Louisiana right now, and if it did make more of an impact here. It would be a weakening system by the time it got near southeast Louisiana, and thus the impacts to us would be far, far less. This is what the computer models are saying right now. And again, this is not looking at the structure of the storm. The spaghetti plots is just the center, and obviously the impacts are going to be far away from the center of the storm. We have started to see perhaps a little bit of a jog a little more east of that center line from the National Hurricane Center. Again, early on, that doesn't mean a whole lot. And until that structure gets better developed, which isn't really going to occur until it's in the eastern Gulf of Mexico. We're not really going to have a great idea of precisely where that possible landfall could be. And here's some of the differences in the steering. We have an upper trough which is actually weakening and lifting to the north, but if we see the storm actually emerge more off of Florida and say just to the east of Tampa or excuse me, uh, Tampa or down toward Fort Myers, which is more in the southeastern side, southwestern side of the state, we may see this upper trough actually start drawing the storm northward. And that's kind of what a lot of the computer models are saying. If it stays more south of the state, which is where that almost second little center looks to be developing, it may perhaps miss that trough altogether and keep moving due west. So basically the split and the thinking with the forecast cone being as wide as it is is because of those two distinct possibilities with the storm right now. Now, here's why I don't think we're going to be dealing with a major hurricane or a major storm. This is something we've talked about, the Madden-Julian oscillation, and that basically is either a rising or favorable environment for tropical development or a sinking and unfavorable environment for tropical development. Currently, we're under an unfavorable environment, and that's going to be the case for the next several days and going well into next week. So this would likely put a cap on a rapidly intensifying storm. In contrast, when we had Laura, we were under a favorable environment for tropical development across the Gulf of Mexico, and we saw Laura become a very powerful storm. So we do not have the same type of setup across the Gulf like we saw with Laura. Rainfall forecast, again, that looks to be right now our main concern, and the estimates have come up a bit, five to seven inches, but over the course of seven days, we can handle. It's these type of totals that we don't want to see. At the moment, a lot of the heavier range should be more offshore, but something that we will certainly be monitoring. So we'll closely watch Tropical Depression 19, but our rain chances for the weekend are actually coming from a little wave that is down to our south. It has brought in some showers through the day today, had a few late this evening. Most of those are now gone. We'll keep our rain chances on the higher side for the weekend. 81 degrees right now, just had some passing showers near the airport, just had a good little downpour here in the French Quarter. 70s and 80s outside at the moment. High temperatures, not really 
really going to be an issue because we are going to see mostly cloudy skies for the weekend with rain chances that are around 60 to 70 percent. We should see a bit of a drier day on Monday and even early Tuesday. And if the storm were to come more at us from the east, we really wouldn't see those impacts from the rainfall until later Tuesday, Wednesday, and then begin drying out as we head into Thursday. Still at the moment, more questions and answers. We'll know a lot more as we continue through the weekend.